Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we are going to talk safety. Uh, let's not blow up our scope. Let's not blow up our circuit. And let's not scare the bejesus out of ourselves and start jumping for power uh, switches and trying to turn things off. Okay, hopefully that will not happen. And I'm going to give you a couple tips or things to think about okay let's do it all right the scope has all these little connectors right and you've got two channels on this scope if you're connecting your scope up to your circuit and you don't put this little ground tip on the same part of your circuit reference to the same spot then your scope will reference them for you. and You don't want that to happen. Your scope will short those for you. The way it does that, well, let's see. That center pin is your signal. That's what you're clipping onto. The outer uh, ring that connects to this BNC is your shield. It's your return. It's your ground, however you want to call it. Um, it's connected to this little thing right here and it's connected to that okay your ground plug so these guys are all shorted together anything metal on your scope that you can touch should be tied to earth ground okay that means that your power cord that little round third prong is a safety ground and anything metal should be tied to that um, that's to protect yourself from being shocked, you know. If uh, internally something, somehow a line power got shorted to one of these, you touch this and then something else on your bench, you, you get shocked, okay. So when you float a scope so that these are not connected to earth ground and you can float a scope by getting an isolation transformer, um, that's thought to be the safer way. Another way to do it is suicide plugs or cheater plugs. Um, hey, I like to know what else you guys call those. I've called them, or I've heard them called uh, a number of things. Those are the two things that come to mind right now. But those are those little plugs that your AC plug plugs all three prongs into, but only two prongs, your line and neutral, come out to plug into your power, isolating your ground so that your instrument is not tied to ground. That's the cheap, easy way to isolate your scope. All right, so now your scope's floating, okay? These metal things, you don't know what potential they can be. You reach over and touch this, why maybe touching one of those things, and maybe something over here's floating in another potential, and uh, you get a little zap. Floating a scope could be scary and could be dangerous. So let's say you're floating your scope and you think you're being safe. Well, but then you realize, hey, I want to come by and I want to connect my computer up to my LAN and your computer's plugged into AC power. Well, now your scope and all these metal things are tied back to earth ground, okay? Because um, these things back here, like say anything metal, those things and these things are all tied together and they are tied to this. So you isolate this, but then you plug in a computer, a PC or something, some kind of LAN connection, something else is plugged into AC power, and that has a ground connection. Well, now your scope is grounded again, okay? So be aware of that, be very careful. Um, I gotta say that I've worked in places where we've had scopes floating, thought we were safe, and then somebody hooked up a computer to the LAN connection so we could download and print some uh, some printouts. And then next thing you know, things are working kind of strange. And luckily nothing scary happened, but things were not working well. And we found out it was because of the computer being plugged in. So that's a real life situation that can happen. And uh, just be careful if you're Probing a DC circuit, battery operated, DC powered, or your circuit is isolated with a transformer, 
then hey, now you're safe from having this shorting to earth ground. So that, that's a safer scenario. You still have the scenario where if you have these two ground straps tied to different parts of your circuit, then you're shorting that circuit together right here on your scope. So those are two things to be aware of. For instance, troubleshooting AC power. And you just happen to, by accident, put this on something other than earth ground, something, let's say worst case scenario, maybe the 115 volt line uh, coming in and you happen to touch that. Well, now you got a dead short with your power and that would be, that'd be a scary deal um, because that little wire is not meant to carry 15 amps, which your breaker is probably set for. So that'd be scary, okay? That'd probably look like a fuse. Anyway, there you go. Be safe. Make sure that you have your scope tied correctly. They make differential probes, isolation probes to make it safer. Um, and also make sure that you don't tie this to anything if you're on the AC side of the power, make sure you tie that to something that's referenced to earth ground, okay? If you're not sure, turn off power, take an ohm meter, and ohm things out, okay? That's the safe way to do it. Hey, scopes are cheap now, or much more affordable, let's say, and you can get a very nice scope, something like this, 450 bucks. You can get scopes, I've got top 10 lists I put out, Scopes under $300. Um, you still don't want to lose 300 bucks. So be careful with your scope and be careful with yourself and your circuits. And hopefully this, uh, this little short video helped. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks guys. Powered by AC power, the same thing this thing is powered by, then this is earth ground. So anything you want to tie that ground probe to better be earth ground, okay? That's the other way to short out the scope. That's probably the more serious way. Your circuit that you're troubleshooting, maybe it can only put out an amp, you know? But now if you're, tr if you're troubleshooting an AC circuit and you short this chassis to something hot on your circuit, maybe 115 volts or your uh, DC, or you know, your, anyway. <clears throat> so if you short that to Something on your AC side of your circuit, you know, fireworks could happen and that would really be scary. So don't do that. Be careful. Uh, just be cognizant of that. Uh, make sure you're careful where you're putting this ground. If you're not sure, unplug everything, take your ohm meter and ohm your circuit out and make sure the two places you want to put your ground straps to are the same potential. All right. Okay, so you might say, well, I'm only gonna use one of them then, and I'll let the other one just hang off and not, not connect it. Well, you can do that, and if they're referenced to the same return, well, that might work for you. But um, the reason they're coaxial cables is to, um, to give you a nice, clean, quiet signal. Without using the ground and using that shield, uh, you might pick up a lot of noise, okay? So you might not be happy at that. So just be aware, be careful, and um, safe scoping. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you liked that. hope that was uh, helpful. And I know a lot of people are buying scopes that, you know, today's scopes are so affordable, and we just want to be safe, and I hope this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Thanks, guys.